Welcome, welcome. Give me just a second to get logged in here. And maybe not. Well, I'm not able to get get messages on here, but I'm going to carry on anyhow. Hey, y'all. Thanks for joining Miss Lillian's No X Chalk Paint page. Uh, my name is Sue Owens. I'm the owner and creator here at Milo and Picasso and also the latest Hello, content creator. And I got my page up. Hang on a second. Okay. So today we're going to be working on this full front jewelry armor. I've already cleaned it with first prep, deglosser, and cleaner. Followed up with pro stick primer in gray. And then I started blending Moser blue. Beautiful, beautiful blue that's out of my curated colors as well as snowflake which is one of my curated colors um you can see all of the curated colors from all of the content creators on the Lillian page mine are not nantucket blue heartthrob mozart blue christmas holly and snowflake um i've already made some prima molds with my quick set resin by alumalite and glued those on and I've got a little trick here that I use. I use the stick fast. That's the activator. That's the glue. Now, what's nice about this is as soon as you spread this on, you spray your piece with the activator and it will automatically bond better than super glue, better than when they hung that darn car from the hook back in the 80s on the ad. But I can tell you one thing. Don't ever do this to touch your face. Don't ask me why. So what we're doing. So I'm taking my Mozart blue. And I'm color blocking it in. You always want to do one thin coat. That's what's nice about Miss Lillian. That's a nice self-leveling paint. Just get that on. And while it's still wet, and fortunately, my weather and the conditions here today are perfect for painting. Unlike when it's really dry, you need your spray mist bottle. So I'll take these two colors, then I'll grab a third brush without any paint on it and just erase them together. You'll want to do two coats of this after this dries to get a perfect blend. No idea, I do a little bit of water. See if I can get on my iPad and see if there's any questions. Hey, Marilyn, nice to see you. Hi, Renee, Two Chatty Chicks, Reimagined Surfaces is on, Chris is on, Ann's on. Glad to have you guys all here to support me. Now, when I was on earlier today on Whiskey and Women, we started this project. Let's see if I can get you around. I've already done the first coat over here. Show you how easy this is to put the second coat on now. And I'm just stippling it into all these nooks and crannies. Ahead and grab my snowflake. I'm 
watch this. It'll be just like magic. You always want to have a rag on hand. Offload your brush. And just smooth it out. I think when I get done doing this blend, I'm going to go in with some Miss Lillian's Gilding Jewels or maybe even a little bit of glaze. But I can't help myself but to layer, layer, layer. I, you know, I can't just do something simple. That's always a, a thing that Krista says to me is, you know, keep it simple, stupid, the kiss method. Well, I don't know how to do that. I think you guys can see that. So go down and get a generous amount of my Mozart blue on here. Once again, I'm color blocking again. Then I'll go in with my snowflake. You want to work with it while it's still wet. If you wait too long, it will get a little sticky on you. So just keep moving. That gives you just a nice blend. I think this is turning out to be just a beautiful feminine piece. Um, a lot of the work that I do is for resale. So it's important that, you know, I do the proper prep, you know, using the first step prep. And all, you know, have it nice and clean, have, you know, your primer on there if you need primer. Now, this was a very slick piece, so I did need to use primer. Makes all the difference in the world. You can't scratch it off. You know, they do say that it's thir up to 30 days for a full cure, but... Honestly, I've come in the next day and scratched at that, and that stuff is just perfect. <laughs> Spread the love to Chetty Checks. Awesome blending. Thanks, Reimagined Surfaces. Forgot who that was, Reimagined Surfaces. Hello, Chastity. Hope you guys are all having a great day. This is my first live, so bear with me. Uh, I tend to get in my groove when I paint, and so I'm working really hard at trying to keep talking while I'm, while I'm doing this and while I'm blending, because um, I generally am in my own little world. These are absolutely some of my favorite colors to work with. And if you guys get a chance or you don't use Miss Lillian, you need to go in and check out all the different blue shades they have. She's got over, I think, over 300 colors now. And then if that isn't enough, you can embellish that with metallics. And I, I do believe I'm going to go in with the Metal Smith over the hardware when I get done here. And then put a little bit of rust to drip it off them and off of my molding. I think that'll give it a nice touch. It'll be kind of feminine Midwestern is the look I'm going for. And blue in my area is a really good seller. So tell me, what are you guys working on today? Anybody doing something neat? Oh, Kathy, Reimagined Services. Hi, Kathy. I should have remembered that, hon. I'm sorry. Very, very talented young lady. If you guys ever want to see some beautiful work, tune into her page. Wow. I've, uh, I've been very blessed to be a part of this family with Miss Lillian's No X Chalk Paint. I actually feel quite honored to be a part of it. So 
So I'm thinking we'll need uh probably need some of Krista's color, the Bohemian Queen in here. That's one of her curated colors. Also one of my favorites. But I think that'll be a nice touch to add a, you know, a little more dimension to this piece. So, once again, I'm going to color block this color in. I'm going to kind of stipple into all these nooks and crannies. I did cheat a little bit when I glued this piece down with the fast stick glue. I, uh, I had a little bit of a gap, which you usually don't with that glue. So, I took my primer and kind of loaded it real heavy and pushed it in there, and it worked beautiful. So... That does work as a good little uh, filler as well. But it holds very good to your molds, too. Okay, that's my first color, Snowflake. Mozart Blue, we're going to color block that in all the way around the edges. And the reason I use the gray primer underneath when I'm using white is I like to see where I where I paint it because a lot of times you know my eyes aren't real good and I can't tell the difference between the white primer when I'm painting white so this helps me and I think it gives me a much better base too when you're painting with white take my semi-clean brush And I work it kind of like a magic eraser. This is one of my favorite things to do. A lot of people are intimidated by blending, and it's really not hard to do. And guys, it's just paint. You get it as good as you can. If it doesn't work out the first time, that's okay. Let it dry. Go in and do a second coat. You'll be really surprised at how well you can do. I've still not thought about what to put in the center of these, and I think they need something. I actually thought about doing a um, hand-painted leather for whoever buys it and personalizing it, like with their first name or their last name. Of course, my, my first thing that I always think to do is put a skull head in there, but I don't think that'll, that'll sell as quickly in this area. So we'll skip the skull head today. Now, Miss Lillian's is also uh, looking for some new retailers, and it's a great opportunity to, to join up with Miss Lillian's. It's probably the best company I have ever dealt with. You, you, fantastic customer service. You know, the, the buy a minimum is so minimum. They work with you. They let you pick your colors. You don't have to just buy one or two of each color they have. She lets you pick out your colors to what sells in your area and what you know will work for you. Um, gosh, they've got over 300 colors. Um, what else was I going to tell you? Uh, cabinet paint, front door paint, metallic paints, Jeff Swamp Mud for doing repairs and texture. Uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, the gilding jewels are absolutely to die for. There's even shifter jewels, super shifter jewels, super duper shifter jewels, and it just goes on and on. It's it's an artist playground. Anything you could imagine you want to do, you can do with this paint product. Uh, I love it. It's the best move I've ever made. 
uh, I can't wait. You know, I'm in a, a flea market mall and I can only get in here four days a week. And I'll tell you the three days that I have off and I'm not in here painting, I'm absolutely jonesing. So that's that's what kind of product this is. It makes you want to paint. I'll wake up in the middle of the night with ideas I want to paint. Um, I also offer my clients to come by and just try it out free of charge. I'll, I'll sit you down, give you a piece of wood to paint on and try it. Um, I've even been known to give a sample to people, you know, to my good customers, so they can try the different products. Once again, color blocking down here. A little magic erasing. Pull these two together. I find this product very easy to blend too. Just a second, Let's see if I've got any questions. See, easy peasy, you just do a real loose blend at the beginning. <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn, it's, <laughs> thank you. Top-notch customer service, Junkin' Jones gang, that's for sure. You won't get ignored. You'll get a very quick answer. And uh, any questions you have or problems you have, the shipping is phenomenal. The way that they pack their items is just incredible. I've never had a problem with anything breaking, spilling, or you know, not showing up, which happens with other companies. <laughs> Say that five times. Good description, an artist playground. Oh, artist playground, I love it. I gotta run, Sue. Can't wait to see the finished piece. Thank you, Junkin' Jones. I'm really glad you guys are all here to, to join me and support me today. You know, it's, I've been doing lives for about a year and a half with Krista, but she was always holding my hand. So today is really my first solo run. Um, and like I said, a lot of times I just get in my groove. I'm a big talker. You can't shut me up most of the time. But when I'm painting, I'm definitely in my zone. So I really, really appreciate you guys and all your support. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah, that's already starting to come together, see? Love it. This color is just... Delicious. Sorry, y'all got to look at the back of my head so much I couldn't figure out any other way to do this and get this on here. Yes, it's going to be a beautiful piece. Let's do some drawers. Now, I did, before I came on here, use my Pro Stick Primer and do the drawers all the way around. That's only one coat, so you can see the difference. One coat here, but I did double up my coats on the sides after it dried. And I also had to go in along the sides and put some primer, because when you push your drawers in, you could see the wood that's on here. So I'll go ahead and get this first coat on here. And then after the live, I'll go ahead and touch up the sides of the drawers because nobody wants to sit and watch me do that. So what do you guys think? Should I go ahead and, and do the, the metal shop on the hardware and all the fake carvings, the faux carvings? And then give it a little rust patina. What do you think? 
I'm going to go ahead and paint right over my hardware. With some of these jewelry armoires, you can unscrew the handles and door pulls, but most of them are secured in there, and then they cover it with felt on the inside. And being that this is a pretty good, clean condition inside, I don't have to do anything to the interior to fix it up. So I'm not going to worry about doing anything on the inside of them. All right, let's see if we can blend that. And you can tell that it's getting a little bit warmer in here now, so I will need just a fine mess. Miss Lillian's paint isn't thick and chunky like other manufacturers. It's very thin, but well pigmented. So it spreads real nice. It levels even easier, in my opinion. Um, I used to be a sign painter. So this, if you're doing hand lettering or anything that's real deep with an artist brush, this is your paint. Okay, so that will be just my first basic blend down there. The second blend will go ahead and make that a little smoother and nicer. You guys can see it is drying up in here. We've got the heat on. We had beautiful weather all week here in Sevierville, and today it got cold again. So, what do you Metal Smith will be perfect reimagine surfaces. Cool. Okay, Miss Lillian's chalk paint is working on a coffee table. So I'm going to guess that that's Krista today. Uh, I'm waiting on the weather to clear up so I can sand outside. Junkin Jones reimagined surfaces. I should be painting a commission piece of furniture, but decided to work on canvas. Well, good girl. I need to start doing that. I love canvas painting, and it's been years and years since I've done that. Uh, Krista says, I love all the layers you're adding. Krista, I don't know how to do it any other way, girl. Two chatty chicks, Renee, definitely my kind of gal with all the layering. Uh, Marilyn, I love the layers of colors you're using. And Renee says, just an amazing job at blending. Marilyn says, Sue Owens, you make this look so simple. Uh, Artist Playground, eight years, I've never had an issue. Oh, wait, I'm imagining that you're talking about the customer service with uh, Miss Lillian's in eight years. That's a good long time to be with a company. That says something right there. <clears throat> uh, Renee says, I love everyone's curated colors and how different we picked our colors. Absolutely. And it's really interesting how y'all are pulling these colors together. I would have never imagined these colors put together. So it's really something. Looks great, Sue. That's from Stacy. Reimagine surfaces. That's beautiful. Uh, you know, Renee, I can't remember where you're at, but you said it's rain and rain and rain in there. Um, Reimagine surfaces says her aunt and uncle live here in Sevierville. They used to work at Dollywood. Yeah, that's that's huge. And uh, uh, Reimagine surfaces never had a problem with shipping, and that's absolutely the truth. And not mention, like I said, the way they pack everything individually and bubble wrap, secure it. I mean, it, it takes you five, ten minutes just to unwrap a box. And another thing I've noticed, Miss Lillian's, is you pack the boxes the right way. I can actually pick it up and carry it in the house and not have to get help to carry the boxes. So I really appreciate that as well. <clears throat> Okay, so we'll go up here and do a little bit more blending. I'm not sure how I am on time right now. I think we're good. A little bit more on my blending. And you know, this is intimidating to a lot of people, blending over moldings. But watch what I'm doing here, guys. You just get it in all the nooks and crannies. 
your brush is designed to do the job for you. Don't overthink it. Jump in. Just do it. Once again, I'm going to color block the color in. I'm trying to work fairly quickly so it's still moist enough to move the colors into one another. But in a minute, I want to take, actually, I'm going to grab another clean brush and I'm going to pull these colors together. I think this is going to look spectacular with some gilding jewels and, and like I said, maybe some blaze too. Let's grab Let's grab a clean brush. Yeah, see how that just works itself together by going back and forth. Feather touch. You go too hard, you're actually going to start getting your paint sticky and pulling it back, and you don't want to do that. The paint will tell you what to do. I think that looks beautiful. A little bit more white right here. I think what I'll do as soon as I blend this is jump to the top and show you the blend on the top. It's kind of like a ombre effect on the top. Let's see, can you guys see that? Let's take you a little bit higher. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey, you know, it wouldn't be me if something didn't happen. Hope I didn't make anybody dizzy. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, so we're going to just do a quick little blend across the top of this. And uh, I've pretty much taken this as far as I can go because the paint has to dry before I can go in and do my finishing touches. But I will post pictures of this when it's all done and list all the products used so you guys can see how it turned out. Um, I been trying to get my pieces done in just a couple days now. I used to drag them out for weeks, if not months. But, you know, it's it is business, and I really got to start getting things done, so. And it's possible. It's possible to do. You just have to put your mind to it. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So I'm just pulling the blue into the white, and then I'll pull the white into the blue, and it's as easy as that. Offload your brush. There you go. That's the second coat, so I can almost call that finished. A little bit more water to move white. There you go. So I'll go ahead and perfect this after the live. Um, see if you get any more questions before I log off for the day. Uh, Stacy Coyne says, Miss Lillian. Uh, oops, it moved. Miscellaneous Metallic is the only brand of paint I don't have to modify to do Mandela dot painting. 100% perfectly smooth consistency. Now, that's another one. If you go and watch Stacey Coyne's page, she does the most beautiful Mandelas with the dot work I've ever seen. She's really inspired me to do that. Uh, Reimagined Services, it's going to be awesome. Could you please list the stuff you use to put in the molds to attach 
Absolutely. And again, that was the stick fast. That's the activator spray. And then the stick fast and medium. It comes medium, thin, and thick. Medium, I have found to be the best. But please, please, please don't get it on you because I'm not kidding you. I stuck my fingers to my face. But I will go ahead and list all the products I use when we're done. So I want to get some of that stuff. Mozart is such a soothing blue. And two chatty chicks. Renee said, very cool. Well, I want to thank you all for, for coming with me today and, and helping me along on this journey. I absolutely love this product. I am absolutely honored to be a part of this gang and the most talented content creators I've ever seen. None of their stuff is the same thing over and over. It's something fresh and new all the time unbelievable creative minds with this group and you might want to go ahead and click save to watch upcoming videos we have people on all the time now I, i'm not sure but i think there's nine cre uh, content creators uh they're really worth following and watching um thanks again guys i'm sue with milo and picasso live here on the miss lillian's no no <laughs> No wax chalk paint page. Uh, again, thank you. Bye-bye.